Hello, YouTube friends. I'm going to be doing a kind of unexpected unboxing because I got a bag that I did not plan to get. So if you'd like to see what I got, keep on watching. Okay, so someone had posted on a Facebook group I'm in for Coach Bags that there was a great sale going on on Saks Fifth Avenue for the soft tabby bags. And I've never been a fan of the tabby at all. I don't like the nose on the front of it. <laughs> I think they generally look like Squidward and so I've never bought a tabby before. But the soft one always intrigued me because it looked like my perfect size bag. So this one was on sale so cheap that I love the color of it. I had to jump on it. So let's see what we got. That came in a box which is good. I do a lot of shopping on Saks Off Fifth site which is kind of like their outlet site. But Saks Fifth Avenue, I don't shop much, so I can never remember how the shipping goes. And it was kind of strange. They um, they didn't have the normal tracking where it shows FedEx or UPS. And it's my understanding they ship FedEx, but they had some weird tracking AI site, and the number didn't jive with any other carrier. So it went from New Jersey, and then they said, uh, you'll be getting your package in two days. And then I got another email, you'll get your package tomorrow. Well, that was three days ago because it went to Los Angeles and then it went to Nevada and then it went, or no, and then it went to Arizona and then it went back to Los Angeles before it came to my town in California. So it was not great shipping. So let's see if this baby is okay. I just got it delivered. And whatever shipping service they use, they didn't knock on the door or anything. They just kind of left it there. So let's see. Oh, this little strip thing didn't really pull all the way. Oh, nice packaging. That's good. So it says Saks Fifth Avenue. That's nice. That looks good. I wasn't really expecting anything since it wasn't coming directly from Coach. So here's my information, which is stuck to the bag. <laughs> I'll pull that off. So yeah, this is, uh, I'll tell you how much I paid for it at the end here. Okay, here it is, all factory wrap. That's nice, that's good. This color looks beautiful. It just said washed. I don't know if it's supposed to be like washed denim or, it just said washed. So, let's see here. Ooh! It's even prettier color in person. It's coming across really definitely true to color on screen. Nice. So the retail price of this is right here. It looks like, there we go. $3.95, $4.95 Canadian. Let me take off all the wrapping and then I'll come back. Okay, so here it is. Isn't that a beauty? Oh my goodness. It is so pretty. So now on the tag, you can see that the color is actually washed chambray, which is like a chambray shirt. Soft tabby. There's the code. And again, the price was originally $3.95. I got this for $139.50. So I thought that was a terrific deal and it sure was packaged nicely. It was really wrapped up well. <laughs> that is really pretty. It's soft, but it's not, I don't know, it's not without structure. So you've got a nice zippered pocket on the back here and the, it looks like it's got gunmetal hardware because it's shiny. That's a pretty combination. This color is definitely like a chambray or denim blue. So it's lined with the 1941 canvas. The feel of the leather is really good. It's supposed to be the um, refined calf leather, I think it said. So it's got a really nice feel to it. A little bit of texture, but not pebbling. And then of course you've got the big C logo here, which is also in gunmetal. 
and you can see the shape of the bag it kind of comes out like a triangle I really like this and the other thing I really like about it I'll show you in a second it's got a crossbody strap with seven five oh no five one two three four five holes with rivets and then you can take that off and just use it comes with a shoulder strap as well and they're both removable so that's really nice pretty I like this let's see the interior of it it did come with a dust bag thank goodness here we go and this was packaged just so well I couldn't believe how much it was wrapped up this is suede so it's not microfiber it's definitely suede really nice it has a little spot right here I don't know if you can see that I'm sure that'll brush off it could have even been from me actually I might have had some makeup on my finger <laughs> when I was unpacking it I'm sure that was from me going too fast there and then it's got the little creed on the back so this whole back wall is suede and then you turn it around and this is the 1941 canvas you've got another pocket here and then you've got the little care card very nice it's really nicely made at 139 I could not resist this that was just a crazy price and I'm crazy about bags that have the leather lining so that interior flap being suede is great and then it just connects right there with a little magnet so I think I'm really gonna like this let me see what the dimensions are I'm gonna take off this long strap here for a second make it a little easier for myself let's see so at the base we've got 10 inches it's not huge but it's not a small bag either seven inches high and then oof, it is three and a half at the widest part of the base it's very lightweight you guys really light I think this will be a great bag to carry around because it just it goes with everything and it just looks like denim blue got the little coach tag so that is my purchase from Saks Fifth Avenue not Saks off fifth but the real deal and at that price I couldn't go wrong and plus there was also like a Rakuten discount I'll have my Rakuten link below if you want to try it out and earn some money when you're shopping but I'm very happy with this I think I'll pretty much be using it with the uh, shoulder strap only but it's nice to have the crossbody strap just in case very soft see you can see how pliable that is but then the base is hard it's very structured same leather it's just got reinforcements and it does not have feet so there you go the soft tabby my first tabby I am very happy with it I think I'll get this lots of use I hope you liked this video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe until next time